Okay, well, it's 1030 and we're here. We're going to be talking about Minecraft today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen. And share a window. I'm going to share this window. Share. Okay. So here we are. I'm getting ready to get into Minecraft. And I'm going to go to my worlds. And I'm going to use the same world that I used yesterday, blocks of grass, and I'm just going to play today. We don't have anybody to host. We're going to be talking about crafting and the crafting table. All right. So what I did was is I created a few crafting tables over here. I just got them out of my inventory because I'm in creative mode. Now, there's a difference between creative mode and survival mode. So let me show that to you. Right now I'm in creative mode, and if I go into my inventory, I have access to pretty much everything. But if I go into the settings here, and I change from creative to survival, and I go back and resume the game. Now you'll notice that down at the bottom there's a bunch of hearts, and that shows how much life I have, as well as how much, how much food I have for energy. And if I go into my inventory, I don't have very much. So I'm kind of wondering what happened to all my stuff. That's because when I'm in survival mode, I have to find it all. And you'll notice that all of the stuff that's in red here, I, I don't even have access to that. I have access to a few things here and that's it. Um, so I prefer to use the creative mode when I'm building and, and starting off in Minecraft. But some people like to do survival mode and Survival mode will help you if you're if, if you're crafting using a crafting table because um, you already have access to everything within the creative mode. But I like to show kids how to how to craft with the table because it's like following a recipe. So I'm actually going to go back to the creative mode. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and resume my game. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to my crafting table here. And I'm going to right click if I'm on a Windows machine. And remember, on a Mac, you have to use a different button. So I use my use button, which is P. And I'm going to actually, here's my crafting table right here. And I'm going to put some ingredients in here. So I'm going to get something else out. And we're going to start with something pretty easy. We're going to work on some torches here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in here and I'm going to use some of my of my wood planks. And I'm going to put one wood plank here and I'm going to put in, put another. And what I do is when I click it, I'm going to click and hold and then I'm going to put some here. And when I do that, when I put two different wood planks in there, it's going to give me four sticks. So now I'm going to take those four sticks put them down here. Now notice it's still giving me more because I still have more wood planks in here. I take as many as 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 the wood planks will allow me to take. So I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, take a few of those here. There we go. Now I have some sticks that are available to me. Again, I do have access to them in my inventory, but there are some things that I cannot make or that I cannot have access to in my inventory that I will have to make either using the crafting table or as we're going to see tomorrow, using the chemistry table. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take these, these wood planks back out of here, okay? And now if I put in some sticks, and I'm going to look over here, and I'm going to find some coal. Let's see, let me find my coal. Let's see if I do this coal. There's coal over here. Here we go. I have, them, I have them backwards, you see. I have to have the recipe just in when I, when I actually put them in here and like that. And now I have four torches. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take those four torches down. And again, you'll notice that it is taking some of my, tor my uh, part of my inventory away as it's creating more and more torches. I get four torches every time. It's going down by one. There we go. I think that's enough torches. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here and put this back in here. And that is how we use the crafting table. And there are lots and lots of recipes to, to use with the crafting table. Um, I'll put the link in inside of the, of the uh, uh, description.
My goodness, I got llamas everywhere. All right. I don't know what llamas eat. We'll try this. Like a carrot. No. Maybe. No. Uh, there's somebody here with him. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, he wants to help me with the with inventory. Yeah, I'm not going to trade right now. Go back to my crafting table here. All right, let's make some something really cool like uh, TNT. Gunpowder. There's gunpowder. And I'm going to put the gunpowder here and here and here and here and here. Okay. And now I need to put sand. I'm going to just get some just regular old sand here. I guess it's going to be this one. Put that here and here and here, maybe. And here and here. And look what pops out. TNT pops out. So now I'm going to take the TNT and put that down in here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put it down in here because I'm going to actually use my TNT. Now, to use TNT, I need to have flint. So I'm going to use flint and steel and I'm going to put that in here. Okay. So now watch what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and use my TNT, put my TNT down. It's not, nothing's going to happen unless I do that. And I'm going to back up. Ooh. And now I have a huge hole in the ground. And once again, be careful because if you do dig down in there, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll get to the nether. But notice all these little floating pieces, and I'm picking them all up as I go by. Okay, and those floating pieces are actually pieces of the dirt that are on that are down below, and so now I've picked them all up, and now they're part of my inventory. So if I'm more in the survival mode, that's one way that I can get inventory is I can use some TNT, create some TNT using my crafting table, finding the, those ingredients first, and then I can. I can create a nice large hole and, and find some stuff. And sometimes you'll find ores in there and other stuff underneath the ground that we don't know are there. So that's what's really kind of exciting about using the crafting table. Something else that we can use a crafting table for are, is to create redstone. Okay. I have to I put them all back in there. Put them in here. Go there. It takes a little bit to fill it up. Once we get them all in there, you're going to see we're going to get a block of redstone. If you don't know what redstone is, redstone is actually um, kind of like electricity in Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and put that into my inventory here. So now what I can do with redstone is I can use it. It's like it's like electricity. Wherever I put it, it'll it'll power something else. Now it might power for good. It might power for not good. But that's what we can we can use. Um, redstone for it. As a matter of fact, if I go back into my inventory, all of these different items here. Um, here we have we have uh, um, we have redstone. We have a redstone torch. We have power rail that's powered by redstone. We need redstone to power that. Um, again, it, it, it this is a power rail. So if I may, if I make a train, my car will move based on if the redstone is active. The redstone gets active by me doing something for that redstone by, by somehow powering it. So if I put this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as well. Put this right here and I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these too. There we go. Okay, so now when I go out here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 
I'm going to put some powered rail down. Now nothing's going to happen here because nothing is powering it. But if I take a redstone torch, look at that. And, and the one redstone torch will power up to 15 squares, which is kind of a good thing to know, right? 15 squares. So I don't need one of these for each one of the squares. I need one for every 15 squares that I put down. Sometimes it's better if you put like one, one every seven or so, um, just to make sure that you have enough power to keep it going. Because as it moves away, it, it gets slower and slower and slower. So now if I were to put heart on here, Mine cart. Put that. Put that mine cart on there. Come on. Go. And that is number three, right? And I put the mine cart right there. It actually should move. There it goes. And it ran right off the rails. If I continue the rails, it would continue to move until that fifteenth square, and then it would stop. So my uh, redstone is. So pretty important thing. So you definitely want kids to be able to craft redstone. All right, let's take a look at some of the other things that we can craft here. So now if I wanted to make uh, a glass bottle, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get some glass. Okay. Take the glass and I, again, I have to make it just like the picture shows. Otherwise it doesn't work. And now it's giving me three glass bottles. I take those out and notice that that one of them disappeared because there's only one down there. Now, I'll be able to take as many as I possibly can until my numbers go away. And then I won't, that means I won't have any more of that within my, my crafting table. And then I'll have to go get more if I have more in my inventory. If I don't have more in my inventory, then I'm going to have to go find it, search for it, hunt for it. And that can be tricky as especially um, for a new a new and beginner to Minecraft, trying to find all that stuff. I, I've been playing Minecraft for a while, but I still like just to do the creative mode. That way I have access to everything, but I do want to know how to how to craft. I do want to know how to use the, the chemistry tables and all of that. So I've used all of that, but I stay within the creative mode. So that way I still have access to everything that I need to have access to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and these glass bottles are, are going to be helpful for when we're starting to use the, the chemistry component tomorrow, that's gonna to be very helpful for that. So we've looked at a lot of different ways to use the crafting tables and to get items in our inventory. And we've talked about some of the items in our inventory. Um, and again, now all I'm doing is I'm just searching for the, those items here and I do have access to them because again, I'm in creative mode. But Let me go back to my crafting tables here. And actually I can pull one up from anywhere. Crafting table, put that up here. And we'll put that down here. There we go. And that's seven. And we're gonna put one right there and then we'll open it up. Okay, I'm gonna make some more um, redstone here. Again, I hold it, I hold it, click and hold, 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 click and hold. there we go, and now I have a block of, of redstone. So once again, you'll see that two of them disappeared because there's only one in each one of those boxes. So in order to make some more, I'm going to have to click and hold again. And click and hold. And then it'll show up again. And there we go. And that's how you use the crafting table. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about the using the chemistry tables. And there's like three different tables to choose from. And we're gonna be creating things that you cannot find in your inventory, no matter where you look all over the map, it, you can't find them. You actually only can make them in using chemistry. And we'll be looking at that tomorrow. So 
Thanks for watching. Go ahead and head back in here. And we're going to go ahead and stop recording. Have a great day.